All game long, he's been dialed in from deep, hitting three after three. And his sharp shooting display should open up the floor in the fourth quarter as they'll have to try to clamp down on him from outside, and that could open up other lanes. Mavericks lead by... Now, while we've got a moment, we're going to send it over to Doris Burke for our Spark of the Game, presented by Sprite. Doris? Thank you, Kevin. It's the Mavericks with the Spark of the Game, with that push we saw. They have had the answer for every defense they've had thrown their way and keep adding to their lead. There has been no let-up in play, and they should have a strong fort. Let's see how it turns out, guys. All right, Doris, thank you. That run was a critical stretch part of the game. It sure was. I mean, once the pilot light was lit, they didn't let up. <laughs> well, offensively, it all came together for them, Park, and it really allowed them to kind of take control of the game at that point. Marion and Dirk make up the forwards. Terry is out there with J.J. Barea, and it's Chandler in its center. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Terry, the pass to Nowitzki. Power down with both hands. You gotta love the use of the bounce pass there. Perfect feed. But he trailed by 18. Here is House. Anthony left side. Passes it to House. The Heat need to get a shot off from about 19 feet. Chalmers' shot is no good. They have a nice lead here and have really controlled the glass for the majority of the game. Kudos to them for their strong effort on the backboard. Yeah, and they're sending a message too, Clark. They're really coming out and playing a very physical game here. Look at the turnover situation, guys, and it's not been that bad. Just a handful, and when you take care of the ball like that, that can help you build the lead. And the Mavericks call time here. I think Coach saw a couple of things he wanted to correct. You got to make sure everyone's following the game plan. You knew the big three when they came together, guys, that um, they would be good. But they did a pretty decent job, I thought, of finding complimentary players to fill out the roster after a big chunk of the salaries went to the big three. A different look for Dallas. Brendan Haywood, he's checked in for Chandler. Butler comes in for Dirk Nowitzki. Jason Kidd is subbed in for J.J. Barea. Saeed also changing it up. Juan Howard's checked in for Joel Anthony. Wade comes in for Mike Miller. And it's LeBron in for Mario Chalmers. That's a two from Kidd. Cannot hit. And it's the Heat taking it the other way. Well, back to the Heat. And Clark, you're right. They, they searched out bets that knew how to fill a role and a need and, and really build a team around the stars. Well, and that's critical because anytime you have the core group together, uh, it's about finding role players who are going to accept their responsibilities uh, on the team and accept the fact that sometimes they're not going to see the minutes that they would otherwise like. But uh, they, they handled it well. They got a, a good roster around their stars, and it paid off. Terry outside. Here's Haywood. Chris Bosch with the rebound. Bosch has got his fourth rebound in this one. His first shot coming late. The Mavericks pull it in. Marion's got three rebounds now in this one. Even numbers, four on four. It's stolen by Wade. Marion against LeBron. Right up. The Mavericks pull it in. Butler's got three rebounds so far in the game. A humongous lead for them here. I mean, they've really done a good job of controlling the flow of the game. Yeah, I think it's the rebounding they have to thank for that part because it's really set the tone in this contest. Covered by LeBron. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. They get Eddie House. Kevin, interesting story with Karan Butler. He's out of Racine, Wisconsin, and had a rough childhood, but really a great story of a guy turning things around for himself. He's been one of the more consistent players in the league. Clark, you're right about Karan. He's had a fascinating life, a lot of ups, but a lot of downs to begin things. Steve twice selected an all-star back in 07 and 08, but over the last few seasons, injuries have slowed him down. Yeah, so tough last year, Dallas, uh, in the midst of that great season that they enjoyed to lose Karan Butler. 
Uh, boy, you hated to see that happen. And now Butler getting into his 30s. It's tougher and tougher to bounce back from injuries. So hopefully he'll be able to come back and, and continue to play at a high level. We'll see. Terry against Haslam. From downtown, and Butler gets it to go on the assist by Kidd. Kidd's got six assists here tonight. The Heat trail by 15. Got a piece of it. Taken away by Kidd. It's a surprise to see him struggling to take care of the ball, guys, after turning it over only once in the first half. Well, you can put this one in the W column. I mean, this is locked up now. Yeah, I agree with you, Steve. I mean, they closed this game out exactly like they needed to. Wade with it. LeBron dishes to Aslam. Back to LeBron. Five on the clock. Karan Butler covering. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off his shot. 24-second violation. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Mavericks. Here is Berea. Wade picks him up. Now Beaubois over LeBron. Beaubois can't get it to go. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. You know, there was a lot of speculation last year about Dwayne Wade thinking of going to his hometown Chicago. But it turns out he was the guy orchestrating the big three in Miami. You're right, Clark, talking about Wade. Not a bad recruitment job. And even through one year, uh, it's had its bumps worked out, Steve. And it's uh, obviously flying very high with their finals appearance a season ago. Yeah, that was pretty amazing. And what a job uh, by Wade in recruiting a couple of stars to go along with him. And uh, maybe someday he'll be a college recruiter at uh, Marquette, his alma mater. We'll see. And I like the aggressiveness defensively, forcing that mistake. They grab their own miss, Bosch, and he converts the layup. Boy, I like the rugged work on the inside that led to that very easy putback. That's going after it there, guys. So we see the Mavericks taking 